Hi everybody, it's Jazz. Welcome back to Savvy Social Events. So for today's video, I'm going to ask you one of the most important questions you can ask yourself as an event planner. Why are you an event planner? Why did you choose this as a career? And what are you passionate about when it comes to event planning? I think that's one of the most important questions you can ask yourself as an event planner, whether you've been planning events for a long time, or if this is the very first time you're starting to plan an event before you plan an event, ask yourself this question, why am I doing this? And the reason why you want to ask yourself that question is because as with any career, there's going to be challenges along the way. and You'll need to remind yourself of why you started doing this in the first place so that you can stay motivated and encouraged. So honestly, being an event planner can be a really fun and exciting career. Um, and there's lots of reasons for that. And you might know some of them if you're already doing this. So one of the reasons is that you get to meet interesting, well-known people. If you're planning an event, you're gonna need a speaker, you're gonna have entertainment, you might have public figures. You might also be building relationships with brands, nationally known brands who might sponsor your events. So you're building relationships with people who may be known across the country, across your state, across your city. And just by being associated with them, you become more popular. As you get to be associated with other people, as people start coming to your events, getting to know who you are, getting to know your personality, what your brand is. I know for me, my brand was the Columbus Naturalista, so it was all about natural hair. So I got to know a lot of hairstylists in the city. I got to know a lot of makeup artists, people in the fashion industry. I remember that when I did International Natural Hair Meetup Day in 2015, I did a ton of radio interviews. Um, I was our event was featured in the dispatch. We had the front cover of the art section in the dispatch. One of the reporters came to the event. She did interviews with people. Other guests got to be interviewed. It was pretty cool. Depending on the types of events that you plan, you can gain a lot of popularity. For me, if I had to answer that question, it would be to have great experiences and to see other people have great experiences. When I do natural hair events, I can see women come to those events and they may not have any idea what to do with their hair. They're just starting on this journey or they're just trying to figure out what this is all about. And they come in and they might not have as much confidence, but they meet other women who are also going natural or who want to get information. So they make friends, they get great information and advice, they get products to take home. And you can literally see them change from how they came in the door to how they left. And I think that is so amazing. That's part of why my focus has really been natural hair events because I just love them so much. And I see people benefit and I love that I can help people through my events. But the reality is with every career, and especially with being an event planner, there's gonna be challenges. You work really hard to be an event planner. I don't think people realize that. You work really hard. It takes a lot of time to plan events. Sometimes events take months. Sometimes they can take a year or multiple years, depending on the type of event that you're planning. I know for me, when I was doing statewide conferences, we were planning them for an entire year. And when I started doing my own event planning in the community, I at least five months to plan each event and, and do it well and have it organized and be able to plan for the day of and everything leading up into that event. As an event planner, you work long hours, you work odd hours, you're answering questions whenever people need them answered. And people depend on you to make their events memorable. If you're planning a wedding, that couple is going to expect you to make that the most amazing day of their life, right? And if you're planning an event where people bought a ticket, they're going to want to get their money's worth. So you have a lot of expectations put upon you as an event planner. Being an event planner requires a skill set. You have to have some professional skills in order to do this well. You have to be very organized. You're going to be juggling so many different aspects of the events that you're going to plan. 
you're gonna have speakers, you're gonna have workshops, you're gonna have a venue to manage maybe some catering. Even if it's something small, you still have to manage how you're gonna promote the event, how you're gonna manage it the day of. You're gonna be juggling a lot of different things. So being as organized as you can and planning as much as you can is gonna be a very, very important skill for you to have as an event planner. So I used to work for two statewide coalitions and when I did corporate event planning, it was a statewide conference over two days. There were multiple speakers, there were multiple workshops, there were opening receptions, evening networking receptions, there was a venue to manage, there was catering to manage, there was, I think I had a committee of seven to 10 people and we had hundreds of people come in for this conference. Those are the types of things that you wanna think about that you'll have to manage as an event planner. Lots of different moving parts. So you also have to be able to work well with other people. Having a strong team to help you with these events is gonna be so critical because you can't do everything on your own. So that means getting to know people, getting, getting along well with people and communicating well. You're gonna have different personalities, you're gonna have people with different skills, you're going to have people with different needs, different motivations for why they're there. So you'll have to not only manage the events, you'll have to manage your people. And part of that I think is really motivating them. I do a lot of events with volunteers and I always try to come up with a way to thank them for all of their hard work because I can't be in a million places at once during my events. And a lot of my volunteers help me out before the event. Every time I do International Natural Hair Meetup Day, I have a planning committee and we're all working together for months before that event actually happens. And so there's a lot of managing that. So thanking them is really important. One of the things that I do is I always give my, my people gifts as a way to say thank you. And it doesn't have to be anything big, but so like one year I gave my planning committee um, wine glasses that had I and HMD imprinted on them and it was the cutest thing and they loved it. This year I actually did something really, really exciting for the first time ever with the Columbus Central releases. we did our first photo shoot. The photos just turned out so beautiful and it was just a way for me to say thank you to them for all the hard work that they've done. And so I think that's really important. How are you thanking the people that are helping you because you can't do this on, alone? So the other skill that you really need is to be extremely self-motivated. There's not gonna be a cheerleading squad while you're planning these events. People may thank you after, after you've done all the hard work, but during that process, you have to really be on your game. You really have to be encouraging yourself and pulling yourself along the way. And if you love what you do, I think that'll be a lot easier than you think. So again, ask yourself the question, why am I doing this? What am I passionate about? And remind yourself of that as often as you can, especially when things get tough. This can be an exciting career. It can be very fulfilling, but you have to motivate yourself along the way. And you have to know why you're doing this. And I think that's really important. So if you like, let me know in the comments if you're an event professional, why you got into the field and what you love about it. I'd love to hear from you all. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like Savvy Social Events on Facebook and Instagram, and check back next week. I'll have another event planning tip for you. I'll see you soon.